All right, guys, I'm here right now, and I am actually into the Great Tomb. Now, by the time this video actually comes out, you probably have seen the, the other ones I did. I did do... No, wait, I, I think it's the Temple of the Gods, actually. I did... One, there was like the tomb, and then there was like another one. But yeah, I'm trying to get this all on camera because um, the iPad wasn't working, so I had I have to record on this now. It's kind of weird. Kind of like I'm vlogging, but I'm not really vlogging. The reason why I'm kind of like scared because like this map is based off of luck so like if you are not lucky then you cannot win basically that's what i'm saying the strategy that i have been using you have to be lucky in order for it to actually work as you can see there are literally enemies coming from every single direction This is absolutely crazy. I don't know how in the world I actually got this far. Fun fact, this is actually after the other maps. I'm literally just first trying all of these. Oh my god, oh no, the orc, the orc, I mean, not the orc roots, the, what are they called? The brutes. <laughs> I feel like it's kind of like a copy of, like, the orc brutes, but, I mean, whatever. Alright, I need to play Cyber Panthers now. Oh my god. This is absolutely crazy. The reason why this map is so hard is because since there are so many ways that you can go, if one thing goes a different way than what your, like, towers are, like, doing then it's gonna get through. And as you can see, I have 10 health. In the beginning, I lost so much health and I was so lucky. I got, I destroyed the enemy like a millisecond before it got through. Like the luck. It was absolutely crazy. Now I have to get all of these dragon gods maxed out because we're gonna need it. I don't know how much health the boss has, but I think it's like 2,500,000. So yeah, like 2.5 mil. Now, the five, I'm actually doing the four star right now. The five star is like literally, it's impossible. It's called the Shadow Realm. It is so hard because there are four things. There are like four ways for them to go and there are four ways for them to actually come in. So, like, you could be defending one side, but then you also have to defend another. It's really creative, but it's really hard. I might actually live stream it, trying to beat it. Because, well, doing it for a video is not going to be so easy. At least with the live streaming, <laughs> at least, like... I keep trying, I can keep showing you guys these strategies, but I'm actually not really showing you guys the strategies here, because it's just, I, I, I want to get these maps finished before I find a really good strategy, and so far, this strategy works, but I have been insanely lucky, so if I do a strategy video, which I most likely will, um, I probably will end up, uh, like, just showing you the strategy, but it's really up to your luck. You could beat it with the strategy, or you can't. There were so many times where I was about to lose, but luckily, it went the other way. Like, a whole bunch of times, if, if one of the towers were to go straight... I wouldn't have lost, but if it wouldn't have went this way, I wouldn't have won, which is actually what happened. It's one... Oh my god, this is crazy. Yeah, so we can't beat the Shadow Realm right now. As of right now, I don't even know if anybody even has beaten it. I mean, I'm sure someone has, but... I tried it with this same exact team. 
no luck. I can't. There's, I don't really see a world where I can actually beat it. I really don't. Yeah, the storage on the iPad, like, is done, so I'm going to start deleting some videos on that. Well, that's why I'm actually having to do this on the phone now. If the storage goes full on the phone somehow, with my luck, um, just know that, just wish me good luck. <laughs> um, I I'll actually probably post the video, like, right after this one, if I actually beat it. If that were to happen, I mean, that, that would be such a huge coincidence. But yeah, right now, it's like, Roblox is acting a bit goofy. It's so hard holding this in one hand, but then doing this with another. All right. So, about everything is maxed. There is nothing left for me to place besides, yeah, nothing. I'm just going to have to see how this plays out. This is the most damage that I can do. I believe. I don't think the... Uh, wait, I think it's the Orc Beast, not the Orc Root. Yeah, the Orc Beast right here in the two slot. It might, I think, yeah, it might actually do more damage than the Dragon God. Here's the thing about it. The Dragon God does 10,000 per second. I believe you can place like five Orc Beasts and they do 6,000 each per, oh yeah. But then at the same time, I could only place one then. Oh, wait, how many? Oh, if I were to place one of the or Wait, I think they do 6,000 per 0 0.5. Hold up. How much are these doing? These are doing 3,000 per second. All right, wait, guys. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to leave it like kind of blank right there. But I might have actually just found something that will literally change the game. Right, I, I placed one. I need to see where the boss goes. What direction? The pharaoh? Oh, God, wait, that's the boss. Yeah, focus on the pharaoh. He's so small. Oh my god. Uh guys. The the boss was so small and the like the brutes were like double the size of the pharaoh. So I didn't even know where he was. I thought I didn't even know that the boss was out. And then I immediately saw that he only had like 400,000 health left. Well, this is how you be. <laughs> The, the ancient temple or something with 10 health left. <laughs> I actually didn't think that was going to happen. I really didn't. That was crazy. So, um, you guys might know him, you may not. Uh, my friend Doge Orgs, go check out his channel. Uh, make sure to go subscribe to him. <laughs> because he, he also uploads content like me. And, um... I don't think he could, I'm not, no offense, but there is, he cannot beat the map. I don't think he can beat any of the maps that I just beat. I pretty, I think he can literally only beat the one star. Mainly because it's not skill or anything. It's because he doesn't have the genie. If he had the genie, he could probably do everything that I just did. But he doesn't. And the genie is literally... So far, the genie is the only way to beat these maps. I mean, besides the one star. But yeah, other than that, the genie is really the only way. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Like, like, the pumpkin pirate, no. Drake or no. Uh, caveman, definitely not. Not sniper, not sign. Like, there, there is no other starter tower that can do what the genie does. The genie is just way too good. 
And honestly, if it if it was never inside of the egg, I would probably just spend Robux. <gasps> okay. Okay, guys. So, I have enough coins for a crate. Wait, my luck multiplier went away. Oh, God. Okay, so... There is a 2% chance of me getting a tower that would help me a lot with this Egyptian world. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? The, the worst thing that could happen is me saving 50 coins on a tower. I mean... Alright, alright. You know, I might actually have to keep playing here. I, I really want to get that dragon. And, by the way, you get boatloads of xp <laughs> what well, at least i am because i have the multiplier um but yeah so this is the team that i used uh don't worry about the gun there i got that from the god sacrifice but yeah i beat the one star two star three star and four star solo with no weapon so to beat the two star, three star, four star, I use this exact team here. And to beat the one star, I believe I use Dracor, um, Cyber Scorpion, Trex, and Squid Game Doll. Um, if you want to actually know how to get these, the Cyber Panther, you should. I think you can still get the Cyber Panther and the crates. Uh, same thing for the Squid Game doll, I believe it, yeah. It's right there. Squid Game doll, um, is from there. You get the Dragon God, it's the rarest one inside of the Egyptian egg over at the Egyptian world. Um, this is the new, uh, I'll actually show you. I'm actually gonna show you only because I forgot what its name was. Wasn't it like the Shadow, the Night Prowler? So the Night Prowler costs 750 Robux in the store now. And this is the Orc Beast. You get it from the Fantasy Egg or the Orc World and Genie. It costs 900 Robux or you can get it from the Egyptian Egg too. So really the only, the only ones that are, yeah, the, the only one in my team that wouldn't be so gettable is the Night Prowler. Um, which is good because I believe the Cyber Scorpion should work for you. I know it's a tower that goes down the track with the, with, with like the fact that like it's a, it's a tower that goes down the road. So when there are tons of roads to go down, I don't think the Cyber Scorpion is going to do it. So really, I think your best bet is probably going to be. The Night Prowler. That's just me. That's what I used. I don't know what other people use, but um, make sure to like and subscribe. We are so close to 100 subs. I will make sure to keep posting little mini videos on things that I do inside games. But for now, that is it. I'm acceptable, and I'm at... Guys, I completely forgot about something. You already know, next week, you got it? Actually, no, yeah, this Friday, there is going to be the Halloween event, September 30th. Mark your calendars, do all that, because the Halloween event is coming out the 30th of September. Um, This is a little preview of some of the bosses that are old from, like, others. But yeah, I believe, yeah, you should be able to get the Pumpkin Pirate and a bunch of other cool towers that are actually pr pretty good. Uh, so make sure to stay tuned for that. We're going to be streaming that all weekend. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, wait, I'm not even recording on the... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs>